understand Zap wanting his company back, he has to be in control of something. And he's not in control of the Kendall situation anymore. You couldn't get through to her at all? Brian, something inside Kendall has changed. But what has Zach going after Cambius? What has that got to do with Kendall? Well, it's not just Cambius. I mean, I think, I think he wants to just erase everything. You know, he wants to reset his life without Kendall in it. And, and honestly, I think it kills him that you, me, or anybody would even think about forgiving her or trying to get her to come back here. And he wants to do everything he can to prevent that from happening. But Ian and Spike? Well, obviously, he wouldn't hurt them. But there is something else that Kendall has that he wouldn't think twice about destroying. Fusion. How's your mom? Don't pretend you give a damn about my mom. If you did, you wouldn't be taking Stuart. How could you do this after all she has done for you? Stuart is our kid. We can take him wherever we want. OK, look, you and Liza both know why I came here in the first place. I had to see if I could live with giving up my baby. And I realized that I couldn't. Do I feel bad for what you and her are going through? Of course. How could I not? But. She realizes why I have to do this, and I wish she would, too. Okay. <clears throat> but you don't have to take him and disappear. Stay in town and get a place nearby. A at least that way, me and my mom can watch him grow up. Yeah, and keep a close eye on Bailey, too, right? Come on, admit it. The two of you don't trust her to be a mother to her own son. If my mother didn't trust her, she wouldn't have left Bailey and stood alone in the first place. And that's me talking, not my mom. Bailey, you've changed your mind before about raising him yourself. What if that happens again? It's not going to. How do you know? Raising a child is a lot of work and not to mention expensive. I know, Colby. I've heard this over and over and over again. OK. What if months go by and you realize it's all true? What are you going to do? Call my mom and say, hey, come get the baby. No, it doesn't work like that. You walk out of here, you walk out of here forever. Because I am not going to let you tear my mom's heart out again. Hey, Chad? Yes. Bad news is, you finished up all of Jake's wine last night. OK, so what's the good news? Found some Chinese food in the fridge. Yeah, OK, you know that stuff is like a week old, nah, right? It's fine. I gave it the sniff test. Besides, between the MSG and throwing it in the microwave, nothing harmful could possibly still exist. Mm. Mm -hmm. Come to Papa. Mm -hmm. You know you like to gamble. Come on. Well, I did, until every time I rolled the dice, I crapped out. Yeah. Can't catch a break. Well, like I said, the good news is, Food is fine, mm. except for this little sucker. I tried to make a break for it. <laughs> hey, thanks for hanging out. Liza would have killed me if I had left without filing all that stuff. I don't mind waiting for you. How about I take you out, hmm? Huh? How about we go pick up little Adam and go over to your dad's? I don't feel like celebrating with him. Annie's still in the hospital. It'll be a chance for you to see him without her around. And what about when she comes home? No, I'm sorry. We can't be a family until Adam gets rid of Annie for good. Hi. Um, will Annie really be well enough? for her trial next week. If you're looking for a postponement so you don't have to testify, you're talking to the wrong person. Have your lawyer call the DA. That's not what I said. I'm not looking for a postponement, Jesse. I'm worried about her health. Why, she should be OK by next week. I see no reason why she shouldn't be able to show up in court. No reason for postponement. Unless, of course, there's something new you need to tell us. No. No, I've told you everything I know. I'm scared. 
This whole plan might be coming unraveled. I mean, Ryan seems to know that something's not right. He was here, watching over me while, while we were trying to watch your trial. I mean, who knows who else he has guarding me now, Adam, uh, guarding me, waiting to see. I, I rip these things off and skip town. You just have to stick to what we've discussed. You're going to be a free woman before you know it. Yeah, but that's not soon enough. That's not soon enough. So much can happen in, in a week's time. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Uh, yeah, that's all right. I was, uh, I just, I'm just leaving. What? You, you just got here. Uh, yeah, um, well, um, Colby and JR came over. Uh, they want to, uh, have a little celebration uh, in honor of my, uh, freedom. It's... Oh, I, I, I didn't realize they were so accepting of our marriage. Uh, yeah, well, um, I, uh, a lot of things have been changed, uh, changing their perspective lately because of the trial. Do you want to ride home? Um... No, 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 thank you. I, I, uh, I'm fine. I need to pick up some things on the way, and, uh, and now, um, I'll, I'll, um, I call for a car. Okay. Okay. All right. What was that? What? Could he have gotten out of here any faster? Why are you so surprised? If JR is really coming over, he wants to be there to greet him. Yeah, but what if it's something else? What if Adam's still angry with me? About the video with the two of us? No. Scott, if Adam still thinks the worst, he could ruin everything for me. That's funny. I thought he was planning on getting you acquitted. You know, maybe I'd have a better idea about all this if I had all the facts. Why don't you fill me in on his little plan?